Okay, everyone, welcome. This is going to be a quick class on how to calculate month supply and absorption rate. So let's get started. All right, so I decided to do this for a few reasons. Why? Because a lot of times you have to calculate this manually and because I promised I'd show you how to do it. So here we go. All right. So it's, it, you know, a lot of times we think this is hard, but back in the day, we used to calculate this stuff manually. So the first thing you need to do, the first thing you need to do is find the number of homes sold over a specific amount of time. So it could be 12 months, six months, three months, it could be two months, it could be one month. You just need to figure out how many months you're going to use to find the closed or sold homes. Then you're going to, you're going to divide, <clears throat> excuse me, the number of sold homes. So the sales, the properties that closed um, by the number of months. And that gives you the absorption rate. So you can, so for example, if you had 99 properties that sold over six months and there are 33 properties that are currently active, um, that means um, you would divide 99, I'm sorry, you have 99 properties divided by six, that would give you the absorption rate. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to find the number of active listings on the market. Then you're going to divide the number of active listings by the absorption rate, and that will give you the month supply. That's what we want. We want to know how long it will take to absorb the inventory. So I created a few examples. So here we go. So I selected Oak Park and I selected three bedrooms. So if I was looking at the entire marketplace of Oak Park, three bedroom, single family, detached homes. So I find the number of comparable sales in a given period. So I decided to use six months. So in six months in Oak Park for a three bedroom, and this is literally as of December 8th, um, 132 homes sold. There were three bedrooms. So you then divide the number of sold homes by the number of months. And that would be 132 by six. That'll give me 22, which is the absorption rate. That rate um, tells me that I'm probably selling about 22 homes per month. If you look at, the next thing you need to do is look at, determine the number of comparable active homes. So in Oak Park for a three bedroom, single family detached inventory is way down. There are 29 homes for sale. I did not include under contract. We could have included under contract. That'll give us a different rate, but these are actively for sale, not under contract, not pending. Now I could have added pending. So the numbers can be skewed, especially if you're in a different marketplace. So the next thing I did was you take, to get the month supply, you have to take the total number of actives, the 29, and you divide by the absorption rate, that's 22. So 29 divided by 22 is 1.3 months to absorb the current inventory. Assuming nothing else came on the market when I created this PowerPoint. So that means we're in a seller's market. So don't forget, three months or less is a seller's market. So it's taking about one month, 1.3 months to absorb all of the inventory. And that's assuming nothing else comes on the market. So let's look at a different city. So I chose Naperville, four bedroom, single family detached as of December 8th at noon. So you take, again, you find the total number of comparable sales, the homes that closed. And I chose six months, 811 four bedroom homes sold. Now, when some of you might think, be thinking, well, that's a huge difference. Naperville is bigger than Oak Park. I think it's the largest city in Illinois outside of Chicago, Aurora and Naperville go back and forth. So then you divide the number of sales by the number of months. 811 divided by six gives you 135. Then what you do is you determine the number of comparable active homes, 146 divided by the 135. And this, this is the number of months it takes to absorb the inventory. Now remember, inventory is extremely low in a lot of our communities. Okay, so here's what you need to note. 
and this was quick. In Illinois, if you're outside of Illinois, you could use something different. So in Illinois, um, in our marketplace, if you use InfoSparks, the data is over a given period of time. It's not as of that moment. So that's why I wanted to show you how to calculate the data, month supply and absorption rate in real time. This is the same for market view and showing time. So if you're outside of Illinois, that's what you get. So if I were an agent and I also sold in Florida, that's my goal, I would want to know how to calculate this if I didn't have market view. These calculations are based on today's current marketplace and at a specific time. I did the math, the system didn't generate it. So let me kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. If you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I go live every Friday. All right, so let's check this out. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to log into my MLS to show you, okay, let's see, I got to move this out of my way. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to share, oh, I want to share this screen. Okay, so this is my MLS, and this is something that we use that's called um, we have a report called Market Conditions Addendum. So you actually get the math. What I want you to see is if I went literally to search, to search for property. And the other thing I did was I created an actual spreadsheet to show you the calculation. So I'm going to pick any city. So I'm going to choose Carroll Stream. And then we'll use detached three beds. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to go back to my MLS and I need to search for that city. So you can do this in any MLS. And even if I was trying to figure out the data in a different marketplace by using RPR or Realtor.com Professional. So I can figure it out in probably any city. So remember, what's the first thing we need to do? <clears throat> Number of sales, what closed? So we're going to go to Carol Stream. And I'm going to change this from the actives to the closed. Could I add the pending? Because we're expecting those to close in about a week. But I know some agents just put things into pending. So we're not going to go with that. So I'll put in three bedrooms, three bedrooms in Carol Stream. And then we'll change the off-market data to six months. So months back is six months. So we can go one month all the way up to 24 months. So we had 111 properties that closed. So we put in 111 and then we put in the six months. Now I've already put in the formula. So I've summed this up. So I'm just going to drag and copy that formula. Anything that I've highlighted and put in italics, I've already created the formula. So our absorption rate is 19. So it's taking, we're selling about 19 homes every month. Now we know that this is probably a little bit faster. So then I need to go find the total, act, total active listings in Carol Stream. So I'm going to change the off market to just active. So I'm going to get rid of the properties under contract. Could I leave in the temporarily no showings? I could. But temporarily no showings could mean many things. Property could be under contract because the homeowner doesn't want any more showings. Um, there's many reasons. Could be um, temporary off, temporarily off the market because someone was um, in co close contact with someone with COVID. So many reasons. So I'm going to take that one off. And then auction, you have to bid on it. So I'm going to get rid of those. So in Carol Stream, there are four. <laughs> oh my gosh. We need inventory. We need inventory. So this is going to be quite interesting. So I'm going to put in total actives is four. We're less than a month, like, like days. Like we are... If it goes on the market in Carol Stream, it's gone. Let's look at all of Carol Stream. So I'm not going to put in any bedrooms. So we're going to just look at the entire marketplace. So let's get rid of the bedroom counts. So I will go to my filters, get rid of the bedrooms. So in all of Carol Stream, there are 23. So in all of Carol Stream, we still have our 111 that sold six. Um, here, I need to copy my formula. I could cheat a little bit and just really bring that down. So what did I say? 23? So 23. So in all of Carol Stream for all detached, I'll do this. 
all detached. It is taking 1.24 months, a super seller's market. Let's just do one more. So this time let's put in, I'll put in Lombard and we'll just do all. So we're gonna go to Lombard. Oh, can't spell today. And since I have the actives up, all of Lombard, I'll go, I'll put that data in, that data set in first. So we're in Lombard, so 72. Then we're gonna put in six months and let's look at the number of properties sold. In Carol Stream, remember, I scroll down, last six months, 336. What did I say? Lombard. So Lombard, 336. So also a seller's market. So you can do these calculations on your mobile device with a real calculator. I will post this in the feed so you can use the same Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that I used. And if you understand how Microsoft Excel works, I literally took the sum of um, the, so C4 divided by cell D4. And then for this one, I took G4 divided by E4, which was the absorption rate. So kind of cool. So there you go, quick, easy, Thanks for watching this quick impromptu training. If you have any questions, please, 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 please follow me on, here I'm gonna do this, on social media. I go live every Friday. So thanks for joining me.